Okay. Hello. Welcome to my channel. And I am turning on the lights because I'm getting ready for this style check. Um, because me and my little daughter is going to have matching outfits. I just wanted to like show you guys. Okay. I tripped on something, y'all. I'm good. I survived. Okay. Okay, now are you guys ready for the cutest, cutest, cutest part? The cutest part is when me, uh, my beautiful daughter that God has given me, she's going to be dressed in her tutu for Father's Day. Um, and before, yeah. Okay, so right now, guys, I'm just dressing her, um, and I just want to, like, just pray while well, I'm the Lord's Prayer uh, while well, I'm dressing her, you guys. So, Father God, who art in heaven, hey, little one, hallowed be thy name. May your kingdom come, and your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our day. <laughs> hey, sweetie. <laughs> Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us of our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, thine is the glory, and thine is the power. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen and amen. Um, okay, so this is a top I want. I decided her to wear. Yes, Bobo. This is her tutu. Kind of like mine. <laughs> okay, little one, you stay right there. Yeah, and I wanted to give her some sort of pants um, underneath, and I really wanted her to rock something colorful. It won't be seen under a tutu, but it's really pretty and it's colorful, and it's floral like the shirt. Um, so I pray in Jesus' mighty name, let your spirit. Okay, guys, um, because we're heading to a little buffet um, for Father's Day. Hey. Ah, let go, but we'll let go. Here, 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 here. Come here. Oh, yeah. ah, there you go. And I say, God, you are wonderful. Come and help our hearts love. Help our hearts love. Father, you are great. Come and show us the way. Show us the way. You are perfect in all your ways. You don't make mistakes. You are all that I want to live. 
it is you, Jesus. <laughs> yes, it is you. Yes, it is you. Yes, it is you. Yes, it is you, Jesus. I gave it all. I give it all to you. Yes, I give it all. I give it all to you. I think one thing that came to my mind while I was singing. Um, because when I sing, I, I feel like I'm getting sanctified. Like God is speaking to me. He's helping me. He's cleaning me up. And what I can say is that, and I'm going to get her some socks. So uh, she gets, she has some socks while she is wearing her shoes. But know that um, basically... Basically, I think God has been telling me, um, when we give it to God, God makes things perfect, right? He makes things perfect, and that's why we trust Him. We trust Him because He can make things perfect when we can't even make it even close to perfect. Usually what we do is we destroy things. But God gives mercy. And when God, when we let God lead us, then we don't destroy things. Then we walk in His stability. We walk in His grace. We walk in His love. We walk in His peace. We walk in His spirit. We are edifying. We're building up the wall that was broken down. We're building things up, even if we may have good intentions. That's not enough. Because we can have good intentions, but actually destroy like, if I'm married and I have a good intention of loving another man as my husband, that's called adultery. That good intention was actually going to hurt and destroy my husband, right? Not, like, honestly, if my husband's in Christ, it won't destroy him. But it'll hurt him. He's protected by God from the arrows, the wicked arrows of the enemy that is coming through me. And it says that shield is faith, right? It says the shield of faith help quench the fiery, fear, fire, fiery or fiery, whatever, darts of the enemy. Sorry, that's written in Ephesians, fiery, I think. I just pray that the word of God will come to life in us. That it won't just be something that we speak of or hear, but it will come to life in us, okay? Um, because we can have good intentions, right? Good intentions to eat healthy, but by <coughs> accidentally, you know, like, we became someone who became very judgmental and... And, and cynical and rude to people who may not be our way, right? And thinking like certain something like this is something so physical is so important, judging people off of that. When God wants, it says judge righteously. And we must see the heart first, right? We may not, I may not be the richest. I have no money on me right now. Okay? I have a lot of things that I'm struggling with. And I'm being real with you here, okay? I'm not here to be put down. I'm not here to be put to shame. But I am here to just be honest with you guys that God says his grace is sufficient. And this truth was written in scripture when Paul was in prison. Now, I wish that nobody goes to prison. I wish that nothing evil will happen to you. That you don't have to go through a Job experience or a Nebuchadnezzar experience where things are taken from you or your mental health is taken from you for you to realize that everything belongs to the Lord of Heaven, that everything belongs to God. But I pray that grace be upon you, the grace of God be upon you, and that you will realize that He'll give you the understanding and the union between you and Him. Because the marriage is supposed to be reflection of the union of the gospel, of the of a person in God, of the church in God. Because it says we're the temple of the living God. So that's why we must understand that we have to be in union 
with God all the time. It's not something that we just step into and then step out of. Because it's hard. We continue to do this dance with God. But God wants us to be loyal. If we can't be loyal to be with God, we cannot be loyal with our partner. If we cannot be loyal to God, we cannot be a good parent to our children. If we, we are not loyal to God, we are not going to heaven. God is not an option. And I guess for some, they are going to heaven because they're in this baby stage of Christianity where they're trying. But it's not by our strength, it's by His Holy Spirit. So we have to call out to Him. Remember the Psalm 51 prayer. We call out to Him. When we feel like we're unable... We ask God for increase and we continue to strive for that perfection. We continue to discipline ourselves have, because the fruit of the Holy Spirit is self-control. So we have to see these things spiritually in the Holy Spirit because it's like a flood, right? It says rivers of living water flowing out of our belly. It's a, a, God is able to bring us to a place where we're effortlessly with Him. We're in His rest. And that's when we don't find a place, when we're not seeking a place in this broken, corrupted world, but we're finding a place in Jesus Christ. Okay, so I'm 11 minutes in, you guys. Um, I have to start heading to this place. But I really wanted to just bless the, 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 the times that we have today and bless your love and pray that God makes you blessed. That when you feel a pain of a person, you won't run from the pain. But you will help try to heal the person by bringing Jesus into it. Because healing does not come from our corrupt flesh. Listen, y'all. Without Jesus, we are going to hell. But with Jesus, we are going to go to heaven. With Jesus, healing comes forth from our bodies and heals another person. Because it says to, to obey the law of God. This is actually one verse I did want to share with you guys. To bear the law of God, we must bear each other's burdens. So if you want to obey God and you want to complete his law, it's by bearing each other's burdens. Because God, when he felt your sin, when he felt your pain, he came to heal. He didn't come to judge. He didn't come to condemn you for what you are going through. He came to bring healing. He came to bring healing in Jesus name and I pray every spirit trying to block increase of other people and block us from experiencing the love of God um, and and bringing Christ to others and his 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 um and obeying God's will for our lives toward others I pray that God delivers us and increases us that such things may not block us in the name of Jesus because we are called not to be the greatest but that Jesus may be glorified in our lives and he, for him to be the greatest through us, right? Because he chose to work with people. I remember I was talking with my husband and he said, you know, how he uses people, right? And God uses people. It's a, it's a um, we may not do the work, but God in us does the work and we must be a living sacrifice for him. Um, I'm just putting on her shoes now on y'all. Oh, y'all, yeah. she don't like shoes. Look at her. Mm, mm, mm. I love you, Papa. Let's put, so we have to see the truth, you guys. And I pray for healing upon our children, salvation upon our children in Jesus' name. Because um, God says, may you and your whole household be saved. So, I'm going to complete this video by showing both of our outfits today and praying for you guys for my my family my little youtube family going on Okay, I'm gonna put on my little shoes, my flip flops. I mean.
pray now um, that the Lord will just confuse the camp of the enemy in the name of Jesus. That we will not hear of God, but we will know God. We will not just hear of him, but we will see him. That we will know him, and he will know us. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah.